a great place to be to welcome back the championship tour to Australia. Joe Turpel with Wayne Rabbit Bartholomew, the 78 world champ for the call, as we'll have some representation from this local lineup from Jackson Baker as a wild card, taking on a rookie on tour from West Oz, Jack Robinson, and the reigning world champ, Italo Ferreira. That was actually his first time winning a real major event, and it was one of the biggest events on the calendar. Yeah, it really was. And here he goes now on his forehand. Look at the speed he gets down the line. You know he's going to go crazy and just uh, pull him off. Won that heat would be the world champ. Italo had that day. Front side reverse, does those in his sleep. We'll see how many of those he can land in this matchup. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, well and truly over the 90% mark he makes. It's interesting when the judges have seen quite a few of these from Italo. Um, well, we'll continue um, with live action. This is another good section for Jack Robinson. Layback, whoa. blow tail finish right on the sand. Jack has really improved his small wave surfing. He's put a lot of time in into his small wave surfing recently because he, he you know, we know how good he is on the reefs and the and the point breaks. But uh, small waves, uh, you know, he's, he's super quick. Know what he can do, what he can produce on demand. And how many different versions of those airs he'll give us in a 30-minute heat. We'll catch up to the last big move of Jack Robinson. Well, that's right. I mean, this is a completely uh, contrasting approach to Italo. There's a lot of rail to rail here, a lot of kind of a bit of zigzagging going on to set this up to make sure he's got the speed. But that was a great last maneuver, a lot of slide. And then uh, nice recovery. I love how he packaged power, lay back, released the fins, and even without water helping him out. I remember first seeing him in Portugal in a, in an, um, a WSL World Junior. There's Jacko Baker, the local lad, and uh, in an ASP, um, well, WSL World Junior final. Back in, um, oh, never heard of him before. And we went, wow, this kid's pretty, good, you know, He's definitely another one coming through from Brazil. He's riding away for the score. What about Jackson Baker? Yeah, well, Jacko, he, he does know this wave. He knows every rock, every grain of sand. Uh, this wave, um, well, it, yeah, he did get that last move. I thought it sort of fizzled out a bit, but on watching it again, he threw a bit of spray. This first maneuver is nice. Nice little pocket here. And he comes straight around back on the inside rail, sets up his second maneuver. Seeing the slow mo here, wraps it round. Yeah, so Jacko Baker, well, all three of them now with a you know a completely different start. <laughs> this is a more more traditional carving entree whereas we saw Italo with the, that really that one big maneuver. You know, Yago Dora a, against Mikey Wright it was an ama it was a high scoring heat with John John Florence and you know uh -oh. big punt from <laughs> Italo changing up his airs just like we were expecting from the reigning world champ did that front side air reverse before this time no rotation but a lot more height I'm expecting that score for that last air to be a bit bigger than his previous landing. Make sure your landing has a little bit of a soft landing. Italo, front side punt, clean off the lip. I felt like he landed that in a good spot to grease the landing. And has that extra tweak motion above the lip, which is so cool to watch how much control he has. He's not just safetying it once he gets the lift off. He can tweak it out, show the judges he's in total control. Yeah, it's a nice tweak, and the landing is just solid. Such a solid, fun maneuver to watch from the reigning world champ. I okay, just kind of you know, did a, a, a similar approach to Italo, just these big ro rotations and um, just punting it. And here he goes again, like he's just going to hes gonna do this all day. Big alley-oop wow. rotation for Italo, and he is underwater on the landing. Yeah, I think he just ran out of water once again. Front side grab with the tweak. Here comes a rapid cutback for Jack Robinson. The rookie on tour with a big reputation. 
Building some points through the reverse. Has control, but waves already died out onto the beach. Great wild card. More waves on the way. This one with a bit more size. Italo running after the air section on the left. This time a frontside car setting up a little slashing turn. Punches the fins out into reverse. The guy could do so many maneuvers in a tight spot. I mean, he is just making something out of nothing here. These are pure closeouts. Look at him. Italo going again. <laughs> this is so entertaining. Well, running left, Italo. Whoa. Way back, power hack in the pocket. That would have been incredible. God, a messy. Oh, what a slap. Well, we are enjoying the Italo Ferrer show at the moment. Luke Egan, break down a, a little more insight as we watch uh, Italo up and riding at the moment. Big tail whip as he goes down. Uh, break down for us what makes this guy so dangerous. Oh, it's like for We see so many posts on his Instagram of him training, lifting weights. This is why Italo Ferrer is so good because he does train for these moments that it is a little bit more difficult and he gets it done no matter what. Thanks, Luke Egan. Great insight. You know, back in the day, the, you know, there used to be a, a limit of 10 waves. <laughs> That's right. You know, so he'd have one wave <laughs> left and, and there's still halfway to go on the heat and he'd still probably win it. <laughs> oh, so many changes happening in the sport of surfing. Over 40 plus years of crowning world champions. And it's a pretty tight club, you guys, of world champions. 21 total on the men's side, 15 total on the women's side that can call themselves world champs of the sport of surfing. Just imposing any restrictions on them whatsoever within the criteria. I love it, Rabbit. We've got a rapid cutback from Jack Robinson up and out. Quick up and out for Jackson Baker. Back to the reigning world champ. The water vision, front side whip to reverse. That's just like what it would feel like if you're in the water with Italo, seeing him blow this board out the back and <laughs> pull off another major move on that left. This morning, board looked unbelievable. That EPS, that's carbon wrapped by Pizel, was perfect for today's conditions. As we see it, the reigning world champ speeding. Quick blow tail, lay back. He'll throw that one away. 8.45 to go. We got to see that from San Clemente's own Crosby Cola Pinto. Crosby was able to get the win over Medina as we watch Jackson Baker rifle off a couple of big front side hooks. The local wild card on the inside. Nice tight inside jam off the lip. As we'll hear from Crosby now with Stace got into quarantine, decided just to shadow his older brother Griffin on tour and obviously got to do some great surfing and enjoy Australia and do some work with Rip Curl. A couple of days into quarantine, he gets the phone call. He's in the event. Explosive tail high reverse on the beach for Italo. How many waves has this guy got so far since this thing started? Well, he got eight waves before he improved on his, um, his top two score and he's done that. And I think he might have done it again here. Almost a late hit on that punchy section. Powered through it and then began the rotation. The, the variety is amazing. Here he goes. Front side layback hack. Now time for a punt. Here's are the combos that you dream of in beach break conditions. I mean, you'd be going, hang on, why didn't I put this guy in my, as my power serve? <laughs> kind of wasting time getting all this energy out of the way is he sacrificing maybe hurting a board on the, on the inside shore break is there oh. any kind of sign that he should slow down a bit because he's he's not at all <laughs> no no he's not at all I mean and, and like again a different move again no I don't think I, I think he's just like nearly mindlessly surfing he's in complete control as we see a little calm down from Jack Robinson Gets a little bit hung up and goes down. You can see he's a little frustrated on that hang up off the lip. To Baker a little bit further out the back. And Ooh, the dangerous part hand. for Robinson is he doesn't have priority. Italo punching out the reverse. Very explosive in these small wave conditions. That was the rule, right? Yeah, he'd have, a, he'd have a score wave. of zero now. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. He might owe for the next event. <laughs> Minute 55, the local boy gets a carve quickly, so that'll trade priority to Jack Robinson. That's exactly what the rookie needed. Jack's going to try to make use of it now. He didn't have priority. Baker taking that wave gives him this opportunity with 90 seconds up and out. Hard to pick the great waves on a day like today. 
That always reminds me of Tommy Whitaker as a coach, where he was so selective, but then coaching a guy like Seabass, who's a bit of a seagull, it wasn't like, okay, do what I do. It was like, bring out the strengths in your personality. I think Italo would feel weird if he sat too long as he throws that whole board out of the water, lands backwards in transition. And no two waves the same. Castle are thanking him for this performance. No two waves have been the same. <laughs> 17 waves ridden. This is outrageous. All the kids and local so here at Newcastle will come down to congratulate Jackson Baker for making them proud here at Merriweather Beach. Well done. Getting a big opportunity. We've seen some great wild card performances. Crosby Cola Pinto, the Rip Curl wild card, Jackson Baker, the local boy. We'll move right into the round of 32.